I was going to spray paint this shelf gold and decided to take this opportunity to do a comparison of different gold spray paints to find out which has the most beautiful gold color. First up is this Chase brand Champion 24 karat gold. This has been my go-to gold spray paint. I used to always get this from AC Moore before it went out of business and it was the most expensive gold spray paint they had so I assumed it was the best without ever doing a comparison. I'm going to spray test on both the painted wood shelf surface and the metal bar surface. Next up is Design Master brand Gold Metal. I have never used this spray paint before but I bought it to try it because it has been rated as the best gold spray paint by so many YouTubers who use a lot of gold spray paint. This is an old spray paint by Krylon and Krylon seems to frequently update the design on their spray paint cans. So the paint number is 1701. And this is what Krylon Metallic Gold Spray Paint 1701 looks like now. This is Krylon Metallic Gold number 1706. And this is what a can of Krylon Metallic Gold number 1706 looks like now. This is Ace Brand. The color is really dark and I realize that it's antique gold. But still, it seems more like bronze and not gold colored. This is Sparvar brand. The gold color is quite nice, but this paint is discontinued. I'm still reviewing it because folks might be able to find some on eBay. I'm going to give a rundown of the gold color quality starting with the first one which is at the far right. Champion 24 karat is what I have been using over the years and I'm so mad that I've been spending so much money for this spray paint which is quite inferior considering what it costs. 
This is certainly better than the $3 or $4 gold spray paints you can get from hardware stores, but not worth the $10 you have to spend for this one. I would call this gold dingy gold or dirty gold. Number two is Design Master Gold Metal. I have to say gold metal because Design Master sells other gold spray paints, but gold metal has been the most highly recommended. I like the fact that this is brighter gold, but it's a cool color with greenish hue. So I would not recommend it as my top choice, but put it in my runner-up group. Number three is Dirty Dark Gold. It's actually more of a bronze color than gold color, so I don't like it. Number four is also a brighter gold, but this time it is a warm color with reddish hue. It's nice, and I would also put this in my runner-up group. Number five is Ace Brand. It is very dark. It is one of the cheapest spray paints you can get from a hardware store, but it is also the ugliest. It's simply ugly and I would not recommend it at all. Number six is a discontinued color by Spar Bar. It's got a tinge of red and it's not as bright, but not bad, not bad at all. Number seven is Zinolite brand Speed Enamel. The gold color is similar to number one, but the paint quality is inferior. And the price point reflects that. You can't find this spray paint in hardware stores or in arts and craft stores, but many online vendors sell this in multi-pack. So if you buy a case of six, for example, it comes out to be around $4. I wouldn't recommend it unless you need to be budget conscious. Number eight is Krylon Shortcuts Gold Leaf. Wow, oh wow, this is a standout. It is absolutely lovely. No greenish hue, no reddish hue. It's a brilliant, clean gold color. It is just so beautiful. Now this costs four to five dollars for three ounces. The other spray paints come in 11 to 12 ounce cans. So the cost of the spray paint for that size would be 16 to 20 dollars. So it is by far the most expensive and something that I would sparingly use on small objects or items that are valuable to me. To put it in perspective, it would take about one and a half regular size cans to paint the black shelf that you saw in this video. So that would require about five to six of these tiny cans and 25 to 30 dollars worth of this paint. So this picture shows how the paint colors look on a painted wood surface. This is a final look at all of the spray paints, starting with spray paint number one on the left and ending with spray paint number eight, the top recommended spray paint on the right. So here are my final recommendations, but judge for yourself which colors you like best and which would work best for your color needs. And I've included photos of the spray paint cans so you would know what to look for if you wanted to get any of these. By the way, if you're interested in how my shelf turned out, please be sure to click on the video link posted in the description box below.